Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about a tool called DocTR, which will be helpful for us to extract the text from the document images. So as per now, we have been using Tesseract or any other tool of like OCR uh, to extract the text from the images, but uh, what what happens is with respect to ECOCR and uh, Tesseract, they are unable to perform uh, the uh, the better text text extraction uh, on on some of the some kind some kind of images. But uh, with this particular dog uh, dog OCR, we are able to extract uh, uh, much of the information irrespective of uh, image content. So text Tesseract and uh, uh, and easy OCR were able to do the uh, extraction for for some of the documents like uh, which are very clear in an eye in quality but it struggles uh, but these both struggles when uh, when the document quality differs right and uh, Tesseract OCR and easy OCR also struggles in tabular kind of data where the structure data information is present and even on uh, the the borderless tables where the information is present in, in the cells and everything so where the information is present in such structure format the tesseract and ocr and and uh, um, and, and easy ocr struggles to get out the text from it but here in doc tr it, it is more relevant to go for uh, this doc tr because it is specifically built for the pdf documents or image documents where you want to extract the text so as you can see on the screen uh, these are the documents images and it is able to extract the text and mark it on the images. So that's how the even name satisfies that okay this is for doc documents. But even you can use for other images uh, OCR extraction. But I found it very useful for uh, my scenario so I just wanted to share these things with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the people. So this is all uh, what it takes up and extract the information from documents. So it actually uses at the backend Torch, uh, PyTorch, and even the TensorFlow. So what it does is, uh, in, in generally in OCR, what happens is you have a text detection model and then text recognition model. So what happens in OCR is first a text detection will happen. Then once the text detection process has happened, then a text recognition uh, process will start. So there are actually two architectures that comes into play when we do an OCR. So in text detection, uh, we generally have various kind of detection, text detection models like uh, DB, Resonate 50, and uh, there, there are many uh, models available for text detections, and there are many more models available for the text recognition. So text recognition can be by, uh, by CRN models, uh, which can be trained on uh, various Resonate models also, or VG16, uh, so, so there are varieties of models available. There are also transformer models available right now right now available for test detection as well as on the test recognition so we can explore on it but uh, there are various there are various uh, uh, models for these two objectives and once we these two objectives are being combined we tends to get an text out of a uh, particular image so text detection and text recognition works together to form up an OCR so you can click on this links uh, text detections and text recognitions uh, maybe it's not working right now but yeah there are various models available uh, which you can go and check it out for text detection and text recognition explicitly on Google. So coming out to this uh, uh, doc, uh, doc TR, uh, we are able to uh, use uh, the pre-trained models which are available uh, in here, and we can use this to train uh, to test our uh, or to get the text from the new document. So in this tutorial, I am just going to be using this uh, uh, tutorial, uh, this particular uh, uh, tool right away in our tutorial and uh, we're just going to pass few of the images and test out the accuracy of it so in this particular tutorial i will be just passing two type of images uh, one will be uh, the borderless table and one and another image will be a border with with border table so we'll just look upon it and how it is extracting we'll just check upon it right so let's move to the uh, notebook how it's gonna be done so first as an initial, initial stage uh, we have to install the dependencies so uh, let me run this uh, cell and let's install the dependencies so as you can see the uh, for me the dependencies has already been installed so i don't have to install it but yeah you have to install before going further and once that is done you have to import uh, 
the matplotlib to visualize and you have to set the environment uh, to torch as you are going to use torch so this is very important and once that is done then we can uh, import uh, from doctr that our document file function and also our OCR predictor uh, that they, these are the models that are available in doctr uh, library to to use uh, uh, to import the models and and start processing with the documents so these are two uh, informations that have to be extracted and that is also mentioned in the in the github page of them so you can just go and watch uh, read up on top of this these are some uh, uh, examples that i have taken to uh, demonstrate the things out so once the uh, uh, once the imports are done uh, necessary imports are done we have to just uh, use the ocr predictor that that we're just importing so let me run the first cell first and then we are going to use ocr predictor and we are going to use default models that are being given inside this so we are just using this pretend models so if you see i am using the uh, db resonant 50 so this, this is a uh, detection uh, model uh, you can see detection architecture is written and we are also using the recognition architecture which is crn v16 so these are default parameters default models that are being used once you use OCR printer you can also uh, pass some different model which are available in this uh, uh, doc tr so you can explore doc tr and and, and get uh, different uh, um, detection architecture as well as recognition architectures and pass it here and train up uh, and get the inferencing out of it so right now i'm using uh, uh, the default uh, models and let me just uh, download those models here so it will take few seconds to download uh, so yeah it now it has been downloaded uh, for me because for me i have already downloaded the model so it is not showing the progress here but once you start doing it for first time you start doing it for the first time it will show up some progress bar of downloading the models because i have already downloaded the model so it's not showing up here uh, but once you start doing it it will show the progress bar of downloading the models so once your model is there only thing we have to just use uh, we have to we have to import the images uh, on which image we want to uh, do the uh, inferencing right so from doc file we can use uh, from image uh, method and give the image path uh, and we can just read this image uh, and store it in the variable document. So that's what I'm trying to do. I have this image available in my collab uh, environment. So I have just imported it. So let me visualize this. How is the image is looking like? So you can see the, this image is uh, borderless in borderless table. You see, you, you see, you don't have any border here, right? You don't have a partition uh, line here to partition these two columns, right? It's a borderless table. So I just want to extract the, all the text present in it. So for that, uh, I have to import this uh, uh, image into this doc file uh, in, in this document uh, uh, OCR and using this uh, for, for image method and I am just using it to import the image so let me just run this and we are going to get the image uh, stored in this document and once that is done we have to pass this document uh, this document image into this model that we have uh, loaded up in the previous cell so just passing it to this model and we will get the results Right. So meanwhile, it start picking up the results. I will show you something else on the GitHub. Uh, so right now we just uh, worked with the for, uh, from from images, images method. We can also directly import PDFs. We can also directly uh, import the images from the sites. We can also uh, import multiple images here. So that that's kind of that that is kind of functionality we can do it instead of uh, uh, going uh, like if you're working with PDF instead of going to uh, PDF to document converter and uh, converting that PDF to image and then uh, passing it to Tesseract OCR and getting the output. It becomes a two-step process, right? So it becomes very difficult at some time and it, some time processing of converting from PDF to image, it takes time. So uh, to avoid that, it, it has just a single library that will help us to uh, convert that PDF uh, and uh, extract the output from the PDF. So this function and this method will help helpful in some in, in our scenarios. And similarly, if you have images, you can directly work with this from image method. So if, if you have some URLs, you can also use URLs to extract the uh, images from the URLs. And you have, if you have multiple images, you can pass it. So this is very uh, helpful uh, uh, tool that you can use to extract the uh, um, images or uh, extract the text from the different uh, uh, type of documents, right? So this just wanted to um, give you a hands up uh, for using it. Now let's move to the red notebook. Uh, okay, so the processing has been completed. Now let's uh, visualize the detection, right? So it's just results or show and documents. You can see 
it is able to uh, detect the maximum information available on the document so if i have to export this uh, uh, this information uh, to the json format you can see result.export uh, we, we have to just do the result.export to extract in the json response so once that the information is present in json response we can extract the information about each and every uh, text present in there right so let's go and back and check it uh, so you can see the information is like uh, for pages uh, since we have one page so that is extracting information for that one page and then geometry uh, is like giving the body box information for this particular uh, uh, word so and its confidence is 0.99 and uh, the value is equity so it's it's it, the word is equity you can see uh, it's here at the total uh, below the total uh, word and it's boarding bond if boarding bond information is being presented and its value is present so and similarly for geometry geometry is given uh, like the bonding box information is given and its confidence is given and the value is attributable so this is the word attributable present in the image so likewise we have all this information extracted from this image and it is doing pretty good you can see the confidence level of each and every word is like 0 0.99 0 0.99 uh, and you can see somewhere it is 0 0.78 yeah you can see even the word is uh, of the hip so it is doing good but at some time it is it is being uh, uh, popping up with some less accuracy but if you if you go with tesseract it will be much more worse than this so this is uh, uh, the one image that we are testing let's go with the border image the border the table the tabular images uh, where the structure is in, intact right so let's pass this so uh, i have this image let's view this you can see the structure is very uh, the tables are given in the proper structure format the border is properly defined so let's pass this image into this uh, 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 model so let me just pass this image let's see uh, how the output comes out and then uh, we can use this model to extract the text right so let's just wait to get it extracted and you can see it will it just takes few seconds to just extract the things out and get the information out of it so let it run and it will take few seconds now it, it has completed running so let me just show up the document how much it has extracted so you can see it is doing pretty good uh, it is it is able to extract the information so uh, pretty good right it is able to extract text text and uh, subtotal right so it's, it's doing pretty good right it, it just misses out this dot com somewhere at the bottom but is it is able to do 99 percent of the things right and let's just check the confidence of each and every word or what it is able to do right so let me just print out this decent response and uh, let's visualize the things properly go at top and you can see uh the confidence level for the word company is uh, 0.99 similarly we have confidence level 0.6 for um, invoice but you can see it's pre pretty good at understanding the invoice word where it is present it was yeah here it is yeah so you can also uh, uh, do the things uh, uh, and uh, analyze the thing you can see the facts word and it is able to with a do with a quite better confidence right so this is how it can be done and uh, this is how it can extract the things and you can use this uh, test extractions where uh, the text uh, where, where you are unable to extract the text properly and get the value out of this uh, uh, json response and uh, club this information into one and you can start working with this information right and you can use it for uh, your other processes so once you have text extracted from the images and then you can start your nlp work uh, nlp work whatever you want to do whether you want to do any i whether you want to run layout lm whether you want to do so you can also use this uh, library or uh, to prepare your layout lm uh, uh, what do you say layout lm uh, data or you can say layout lm pre-processing you can do with this particular extract because in that layout lm you also need uh, uh, informations uh, about the bounty box so if you haven't watched about uh, uh, my previous videos on layout lm you can just go and watch into my channels i provided two videos on layout lm you can just watch it and you can understand what are the information that is required to prepare a layout lm model so this information this ocr information is very helpful in in scenarios where uh, where the tesseract or where the uh, where the text information is is very important to extract uh, mostly it is used in document understanding or document di part uh, these ocrs are very helpful so uh, to to 
to do such kind of uh, processing on such kind of documents image documents and video documents we have to use this ocr and ocr has to be good otherwise the rest of the processing will be uh, uh, whatever the model you build like ner or anything it just all depends upon ocr so if ocr fails your any nlp model is going to fail so you have to be very very sure like uh, ocr model should should be at minimum error side and should work better to get the med, uh, better uh, nlp models at the end right so this is how you can use and uh, uh, hopefully you can also explore more on the doc doc uh, tr and work on it and extract some beautiful uh, text from your images and this is all about this particular video if you like about if you like the content please just subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you